Hey, ready fish. It's the 18th of February, 2018. And I was going to do a um, pretty wild little video on Obama. And I'm still going to, but it changed quite a bit. I woke up this morning to like nearly a foot of snow uh, from Noah, of all things. And so other things came up in my computer I, everything had to be shut down links and all these things got moved and all that stuff you know what i mean i had like a hundred links hundred tabs open to just show you some interesting things related to obama and, it, and what i was going to talk about is he's going to speak at mit on the 23rd 223 right he's going to be over there at massachusetts institute of technology well, he's going to be in Boston, regardless. And what I was going to point out were these institutions, which a lot of us know a lot about this stuff. You know, we understand that Yale and Harvard and all these things, they're all tied into the same satanic cabal. You know, but nonetheless, I was going to take you just briefly through an MIT, you know, kind of journey and just... So you understand what's behind all these institutions, especially these Ivy League private institutions. This is a, a little slideshow that MIT offers on their website. I mean, even the layout of their campus, compass and squares. These are not, you know, learning centers. They are temples that it's designed. They, the, these are the birthplaces here in America of the literal satanic spirit creating their institutions of alchemy and sorcery and they you know slime their way into the so-called health care industry uh, rockefellers rothschilds all them they just took it over you know they have their temples and their domes and i was going to take you on quite a trip i mean look at their their dome temple here i mean does that look like anything to anybody? I mean, really? Come on. And we could get down the road of the fact that in these domes, these are called an oculus, the hole in the center. You know, it's typically round, right? And that can take us to a hundred other things that I wanted to show you that relate to Obama. His 9-11 uh, speech where he read Psalm 46. The connections between all these things... And this date that he's going to be speaking here, 223, are pretty amazing. But the one main thing that I want to show you, and then I'll, I'll get into some of these other connections here, is a connection that really came to me since this storm hit us, Noah. Okay? I, I didn't really know anything about Noah. I knew we were going to get some snow. I had no idea we were going to get a foot of snow, but nonetheless... But it wasn't until today that I really kind of thought about it. And I said, well, this is the 17th here. So that puts us six days out from the 23rd. So the 23rd, you know, a sign of Noah would be seven days. And so I was about to write that off. And I looked up in the URL here. I just happened to look at it. And this was actually posted here by weather.com on the 16th. So that puts us seven days out from the 23rd. I thought that was pretty interesting. You know, Noah, seven days, you know what I'm saying? So that caused me to look a little closer. So I started just kind of throwing a couple of dates together. And what came up to me, and, you know, it doesn't happen often, but when it does, I pay attention when it comes into my spirit. And that is this image that most of you have probably already seen some of you haven't this image uh, for lack of a better way to put it was literally shown to me by the holy spirit and was put upon me to understand that this was in fact you know showing us a coming event that it was in fact going to happen and that there were things hidden in this image that would that would verify that this image was on the front and center of drudge on april the 6th 2017 that's when it was there and it's just jam-packed with demons and just 
if I, back then I did a video that I put up on the 7th. The very next day is when a video went up on this from me. And that could be interesting. <laughs> but there was a king over them. There's a king in this nuclear explosion. Why? And if I really had my other editor open I could show you the other king inside the king you can actually see him that's the eye with a little eyelash that's a bridge of his nose right there and that's his mouth open right there with the jagged teeth and that's like his bottom jaw right there okay and this is like the side of his face that's his crown I don't know if you can see him or not but he's there locust king and then you back out and it blends and turns into a human looking king there he is his eye his eye his nose his mouth is his crown and he's kind of looking off in this up into this way I mean it's just crazy and it's all there skulls and death all over it and you know I hate to even bring this thing out I do but man I'll tell you what the day that I put that video up until the till 223 here coming up next week is exactly and it just is bizarre okay let me find it so i can show you it's here somewhere it's just so crazy exactly 322 days okay so and that's exactly 46 weeks don't forget he read psalm 46 on 9 11 okay so i was prompted to go back to that date too and i did and it's 2,358 days. And you have to break this stuff up. And you have to look at it like a 23 and a 58. And the 58 is a 13. I'm telling you, this is how it works. And this kind of verifies it. The fact that it's 6 months, or 6 years, 5 months, 13 days. 11, 13. You see where I'm coming from? 33, 66 in this. It's just, it's very unusual when you have numbers that pan out this way it's just the way it is and i also went back to several other dates one that really was interesting was back to the unveiling of his uh so-called portrait from the same day that the nuclear explosion video went up that i made 311 days 44 weeks it's just stuff that i see stuff that I'm just getting in my spirit to tell you uh, I don't know when this stuff will happen but I know it will I can tell you that and I'm just here to give it to you as there's one thing that I pray on every time I make a video and that is that no guile comes from my mouth no vanity this is just the things that are put before me it's odd, it's strange, it's crazy and wild, but it's real. It's all real. It's a spiritual war. And you can only win when you're in Jesus Christ. He is the Savior. So, seek Him and get to know Him. Anyway, peace and grace to you all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 